name is Elizabeth Rivas Plata, I'm 31 years old. I was born in Lima, Peru. I live in Toronto and I work at the Art Gallery of Ontario as production associate. requires me to be uh, here at the gallery really like early every day. Uh, I wake up at around 5.30 and I'm here at 6.30 a.m. every day. Um, so, but it's fun. I'm used to not. The AGO is like a, a wonderful like uh, experience. Uh, uh, so inspired, like working with uh, art and uh, working with Anne Dermovich. She's like an awesome chef. So it's always uh, something new. Uh, every day it's different. Uh, we play with different ingredients every day. We are, we are always trying to come up with uh, uh, different and new ideas, uh, new dishes, uh, either in Frank or the cafe or the members' lodge. So it's really cool. It's uh, a different uh, adventure every day with working. With, like, let's say for Frank, we do all the stocks, all the I don't know sausages, ketchup, uh, pinot bacon. We brine all the meats and everything, so that's that can be like two days of my week. And the other two days, I'm maybe working for uh, helping events. And the other day, I'm like working in actually the menu in the cafe or the members' lunch or the espresso bar. So it's usually something different. This has a lot of strengths, and that's why we hired her for here because she's uh, she's got a very uh, wide uh, breadth of experience. Um, she can handle pressure really well. She, uh, she's got a really good eye for detail. Uh, she's organized and she's a really hard worker. I'd say her, uh, her drive, she's very, uh, she works hard. She's always pushing, uh, pushing forward to get things done. Um, she's very, uh, very upbeat, very positive, uh, um, positive attitude and uh, she gets along really well with, with people. So I think that those are three things that really set her apart here at the AGO. When I was uh, little, my father, uh, he loves to cook, so he introduced me to like fresh ingredients and like uh, uh, cooking, like the passion for cooking that he had. Like, so I think that I absorbed all that. And uh, when I finished high school, I, uh, I went to chef school. Uh, my first job was uh, that I really, really, really liked. That I, when I discovered that, that this was actually the career that I wanted to like, pursue, was that, uh, when I was working in Miami uh, with this Colombian chef. Uh, he was doing like fusion, and uh, he showed me a lot of like different stuff, and and uh, that's when I. I started like uh, actually thinking that it was what I wanted to do, and I, now I love every minute. Uh, I think that she's really charismatic, she's really funny, she's got a flair about her, but she's also serious and she's dedicated and she's, you know, she's always, like I said, she's always just striving to take herself to that next level. There is so many different cultures like living in this place, like uh, it's so, 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 there is so much variety, right? And uh, everybody is like open to try anything. There is no like, okay, I don't try this or that. So you can find like uh, close to the EGO here, right? There is like a Japanese place there, another uh, noodle place there, um, shawarma place on the side, Chinatown is here. Uh, usually uh, when I cook at home, uh, it's comfort food, like uh, something that it's, uh, good and that it doesn't take so much time, right? Because I like usually cook like all day. So when I got home, I just want to relax. Taekwondo. I uh, practiced Taekwondo for like many, many years of my life. It was a very important part of my life from like almost 15 years of my life. Um, but I didn't, right now I don't have the time to practice it anymore. I like to uh, go try food at different restaurants. Um, go out for drinks, movies, whatever normal stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna win or not. <laughs> I would like to, yeah, but, uh, and I'm gonna try to and I'm gonna do my best, but I don't know, I'm doing this just to conquer my fears. Yes, because it's like kind of scary, like to be like cooking in front of like so many people. So it's like the same when I went to the Amazon and I was seeing all this um, weird stuff, I was just 
I just want to conquer my fear. So this is one more thing.